So I've got quite an interesting video for you guys today. I'm actually going to be interviewing Amir from Stockholm, who actually goes by the name of Amiro on social media, Instagram, YouTube, all that lot. He's the owner of Amiro Marketing, which is a successful social media marketing agency in Stockholm, Sweden. He's an influencer. He also does consulting, you know, coaching one-on-one. And actually this week he just won an award for the best pitch on like a public speaking event and his pitch or his like his business is going to be a broadcast on like one of the uh, Swedish like national um, podcasts. So uh, he's got a lot of things going for him and I've got the opportunity to speak with him today. <laughs> going on guys so today i am joined by miro and all you give whoa, me a bit whoa, of whoa. so not only have i still got the icons of skype on the screen but i've also got the arrow of my mouse like hovering just under my eye through the entire video guys i know i apologize and if you've if you know if you know me personally or you've watched like a few of my videos you've been on the channel for a while then you know that I've got like major OCD issues and I can't cope with these little imperfections like that. You know, I like my videos to be perfect and I don't think this video quality wise is on point with like the rest of the channel. It doesn't represent the channel in the right way and I was so close to not uploading this video but there's, there's, it's just too valuable to, to not upload, you know what I mean? Like, Someone could actually get something out of this. This could actually be the video that helps someone, you know, take that step, take that leap of faith and start their own business. And it'll just be selfish of me not to upload this video because of the way, you know, the, the layout's being done. So uh, I am uploading it. Apologies for, for the mouse and for the Skype icons. You know, honest mistake, it can happen. Uh, try and enjoy the rest of the video. Just listen to it. You know, even if you don't watch the video, just 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 listen to what's been said. You know, uh, take it off of YouTube. Listen to it as like an audio file. You know, do whatever you want with it. Uh, just bear bear with the with with the imperfections. Give this video a like. Listen to what uh, Miro has to say, and I'll see you guys soon. For but uh, Miro, do you want to introduce yourself? Just tell everyone that's watching like who you are and what you do. Cool. What's up, people? I'm really glad to be featured in uh, this channel. It will be really, really fun. I have some interesting things to say that I think you will benefit from. So basically, I'm 20 years old. Uh, I'm a business student, so I have 18 months left uh, to graduation. And I did something I think most people don't. I started a business after my first semester. So like freshly starting, I was like, man, too much alcohol for me. I need to do something else. <laughs> So I started a business, I, me and uh, we spoke about it yesterday and I put all my money, $7,000 into my first business. So yeah, and uh, it's a marketing business. So I'm a special, I, I specialize in Facebook and Instagram advertising. I help businesses with, I consult them. I, uh, they pay me monthly to, to yeah, help them advertise. Yeah, that's amazing. So basically he's also got his own social media marketing agency and he's based out in Stockholm and he's also still in uni. So how is it to actually run a business while still being in school? Like, is it weird or what's your experience with that? <laughs> to be honest, I remember exactly when I, when I first started my business, I sat in school and, and people were like, I heard some people speak, they were like, two guys, they were like, hey, yeah, man, after, after school, I want to become a consultant. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, bitch. You don't need school. Like I'm not saying school is not good, uni is not good, but like I am a consultant right now. I haven't even finished. So uh, to be honest, to be really honest, let me show you. When I first got my my business like bank account card, and it said it said my like my own name on it and and a miracle marketing. It felt so good. Like words can't even describe when yeah. I got this card home. You know, I was like 19 years old. It just feels so good because. To be honest, you get so much respect, like you do, because when you're young and when you're putting your heart into something and people see that, they're like, wow, yeah. that's really cool. So it's the best feeling ever. Like I can't even describe it. Yeah, I love the enthusiasm. And we spoke about this yesterday, actually, like obviously nowadays it's sort of a bit of a, a hype to say, oh yeah, like, you know, uni is bad, it's not for me and be a dropout and stuff like that. but. Uh, we actually agreed that university actually has its benefits, especially when starting a business. Uh, do you want to touch up on that? 
Yeah, for sure, man. Like, I get this question a lot because, like, hey, hey, Miro, should I go to university? Should I go to college? Do you think it's worth it? And I think you need to consider a few factors. First of all, how much is college for you? I'm really, really uh, lucky. Uh, I, I live in Sweden, Stockholm, and we get, uh, I don't pay for college. So it's basically yeah. free. I do live on a college debt, but that's just because I don't like the, like the depth I'm getting, like the, the, the money I'm borrowing from, from, uh, for college, it's debt free. Like it's, yeah. it's the best loan you'll ever get. So I'm taking it. Uh, yeah. And it's another story about dividends and companies and other stuff. But basically, man, like, the pros, just let me give you really quick. You get a huge network. Like I've, I've, I've met really cool persons. Uh, you, you get credibility. Like whenever you want to raise capital, I don't know, some like whenever you're going into a boardroom with some elder people yeah. that are more like conservative and you say, yeah, I have a graduation from like Stockholm Business School. It's one of like the, the top business schools in Europe. Yeah. You, like it builds credibility and like, to be honest, you learn some soft skills because People always think, think that if the skill doesn't generate income, it's bad. Yeah. You learn a lot of social skills in school. like, And, and the, the most important thing, you learn how to learn. Because yeah. imagine this, like every four weeks I have an exam every f in a different course. So I need to study finance for four weeks, then I write an exam. Then I study, I don't know, uh, accounting for four. Like, so it's so different and I need to uh, optimize a, like find a system to how I learn properly. So that's the pros and the cons. All right, uh, like it's, the chances are, are really big that you're paying for college, okay? That's bad. Uh, it, like you, you learn a lot of skills that doesn't like, they, you can't use them, all right? Like for example, the marketing and it's stuff, it's kind of outdated. Some yeah. cons like the Boston matrix, the perception matrix, uh, cash cows and and that's the kind of stuff it's it's relevant but mostly it's not and it it's it's three years it takes a lot of your time yeah that's like, uh, yeah so so basically i would say it depends how young are you like i'm done when i'm 22 i think it's it's okay and i think if you don't have a bad like people that say that college is bad usually have already been successful, right? Yeah. It's it's a lot easier to say, yeah, fuck college when you're making like 10K a month, 50K, but to the majority, that's not. Go to college, start a business while you're in college, put in the work. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying it's impossible, but I'm, I'm not saying it's easy either, but go to college and put in the work. And if you get to that point where you make enough money, drop out, yeah. drop out. Love it. Couldn't agree more with exactly like what you just said. Like everything I was thinking of saying after you after you spoke, you already said it's unbelievable. Cool, man, cool. Yeah. So uh, you're living in Stockholm. You've got your own business. You're still in uni. What's it like, like being an entrepreneur in Stockholm? Like obviously you've got the common myth of America's where it all happens, and Europe sort of lagging in that department. Like what's it like? I think it's the biggest myth that America's where it's happening. Definitely, I to, okay. I'm a bit uh, biased because I want to live in America. So I, like, I love the country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, because it's so big, you have so many opportunities. But you can succeed from like anywhere in the world. Okay, you can bl you can be a bitter person and blame on your circumstances yeah. and let that uh, like take a hold on you or you can do the best with it. But to be honest, Stockholm is really famous around the world. Like in the US, especially Silicon Valley, they love sweets. They like, they absolutely love sweets because like we have a few big companies. We have Spotify, Skype is Swedish. Like yeah. we have, yeah, yeah. And we, like Swedish, sweet entrepreneurship is quite big in Sweden. We have a, we have a lot of really famous entrepreneurs. It's a, like a small Silicon Valley and don't quote me, but I read that uh, the uh, Esteban, it's the Wall Street of Stockholm, yeah. uh, like the business play, has more companies than Wall Street per square feet. You know, it's yeah. smaller, but more companies per square feet. So it's 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 you have a lot of opportunities. It's it's a strong economy, so you can like charge businesses quite quite enough money. Uh, it's maybe a bit harder to charge more like in in U companies like India and stuff. Yeah. But it's still possible. It's still possible. Yeah, I understand. So uh, Stockholm is very entrepreneurial, and yeah. you actually yeah. had quite a bit of an entrepreneurial experience the other day, didn't you? With your public speaking. Yeah. 
Um, so my entrepreneurial like ex- whole experience. Yeah. Okay, so basically, long story short, uh, I've, I've been an elite boxer from the uh, age of 12 to 18. Then I ruptured my, my bicep and I, I quit. Uh, okay. It was in a nat- national championships. Not a lot of people know this. And after that, uh, I, me and my friends started, uh, okay, we're not friends anymore, but yeah, <laughs> we started our first clothing brand. The name was Dream Chasing, all right? Yeah, I've seen that on your uh, Facebook. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, so he was uh, messaging uh, suppliers from AliExpress this was before dropshipping was yeah, famous, yeah, yeah. right? Uh, we, we were mess- he was messaging and he was uh, they, they were designing our logos on, on the t-shirt. Sorry, on the t-shirt and I was selling them yeah. because I was a salesman. So I was just walking around in school trying to push products, <laughs> push uh, bracelets, caps, everything. And we went to a 50 cent con- uh, like um, how do you say concert? Yeah, 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 concert. Yeah, yeah. And and what my friend did, he took a bracelet and he shot it up on the stage. 50 cent took the bracelet up. It said Dream Chasing, and he said, Dream Chasing. This is the most fucked up, ugly ass bracelet I've seen in my life. Really? Sorry for cursing. Yeah, yeah. He wow. said that. And we got a picture with 50 cent holding the bracelet as marketing. But we were we went so sad that we like we, we ended the whole thing. Wow. We're like, it yeah. was our first business. So we have a picture with 50 cent holding our dream chasing bracelet. Yeah. And after that, I got into the whole entrepreneurial stuff. I got really interested in in, in living a life on my terms, you know? Yeah. And then I, 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 I found social media marketing. I love I love sales. And I was like, hey, let's let's do this. I got a client after a month. And since then, I'm just yeah, aim for the moon. Yeah, I love it. And fast forward to last week, like what happened last week at the public speaking event? So one of my like one of my lifelong goals has been to speak in public. I've always loved that. And last week I held a speech at a university here in Stockholm called Södertans Högskola. And I held a speech about how to pitch an idea and how, yeah. how it's like to to uh, to be a business owner and a student. Because five weeks before that, I, I was in a pitching competition and I pitched for the, like some really big banking CEOs and I yeah. replaced second. And I was speaking about that and they loved it. I, like it was it was really good. And yes, uh, two days ago, I, I was at a sales event named Close, Closers Only and they had a live pitching competition right there on stage. And I got voted in as, as a company that got to pitch in front of 800 people. Wow. And I had nothing prepared. But I was like, hey, Miro, you always tell people, uh, yeah, you want to be successful. You're a hard worker. Here, here's your chance. Show me. Yeah. Like, are you sc-? And I was like, oh, my God. OK, let's let's do this. So I went up on stage and I, and I pitched in front of 800 people and I won. That's so, so sick. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it, it feels so amazing. So uh, I, I'm going to be featured in the biggest business podcast in Scandinavia, actually. My pitch will be. Yeah. So it's really cool. It's really. Yeah. That is amazing, man. And uh, obviously, like you've got quite a bit of experience now. You know, you've been doing it for a while. Uh, like you said, just your first company was a clothing brand, so you've got quite a few like uh, wins and losses on your belt. Have you got any Definitely. tips for anyone that's that's starting out, especially with social media marketing? I would say, I would say, find something that differentiates you. All right. Yeah. Because a, a, a good entrepreneur, it's not about reinventing a wheel. You don't have to reinvent something. Mm-hmm. But you gotta you gotta find something like your edge on it, all right? Yeah. You gotta find your edge, and it, it 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 can be something how you just position the company, you know? Like it it can be how you how you tell people about your company. So I would say don't follow what everybody else is doing because now if you go on YouTube, everybody's doing social media marketing, oh, but ninety yeah. percent of the people are suckers, all right? They don't know sh- like. They don't know zip about social media marketing and they're just in it to make quick cash. Me and Joshua, we're in it for the long run That's because we understand run. if you know marketing, I know like I'm, I'm in this because in the future, when I like, I don't know when my, when I start a, a studio, like when I get investments and we a really big company, I know the marketing. So I can't like, I, I understand the game, you know, exactly. because I, I have the social currency. Yeah. So, so. I would say don't follow everybody else. Start a social media marketing agency for sure. It's the best. It's the best business model right now. Mm-hmm. But don't copy and paste. Like don't go on YouTube and be like, just follow what everybody else is doing. It's so it, it's getting really lame. Yeah, 
Love it, couldn't agree more. One last question before we wrap this up. One question that I really want to know. How would you get up at half past five every morning? <laughs> okay, I get that question a lot, guys. So let, let me just show it, all right? Okay. Uh, so basically, here is a whiteboard. It's yeah. a whiteboard with a challenge, okay? It's a morning routine challenge. So I started this four days ago. You see, I have four X's. Mm -hmm. So basically, that's a routine to get. Uh, that's a challenge to get in more routines during the morning. Yeah. And I did the same thing to uh, to start waking up at six uh, six uh, five thirty in the morning. What you gotta do, or what you gotta understand, first twenty days, first fourteen days, every cell in your body will scream. Miro, get the like, get in bed. It's cold. It's dark. Nobody's up. All right. Especially in Sweden, it's like during the winter. It's like we have two hours of sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you gotta just push through the first 14 days. You gotta commit. And after that, you will get so little sleep just because you can't sleep in at the night yeah. and you wake up really early that your body forces itself to go to sleep. So now at nine. I'm like I'm I'm so tired. Like my eyes are so tired at like 9 p.m. because I, my body has gotten used to it. So basically, just go to your I don't know, go to somewhere, buy a buy a whiteboard, and just do something like this, and and just cross it every day yeah. so you get closer to your goal. So it's it's not a magic trick. You just gotta do 30 days, and you'll get in the routine. Yeah, that's my answer. Love it. I might I might have to try that as well. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, do that, man. Seriously, yeah. because when you write it down, you commit to it. That's it, isn't it? Exactly. And I think writing it down is so much better than like using an app or you know on your yeah, computer. Yeah, or something. No, 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 don't use the app. Believe me, that yeah. that's a scam kind of thing. You don't commit. <laughs> That's it. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap up this video here. Um, Miro actually does coaching as well, so I will link his coaching as well as with his YouTube channel and all the social links in the description box down below. Uh, got anything to say before we sign off? Guys, I uh, like my mission is to help as many people as possible. Like, whatever question you have, just DM me on Instagram. I'd be really, really happy to help. Just, yeah, thanks. All right, guys, love it. So that's all I've got for today. Before I finish this video, shout out to the comment winner. And if you want to be next week's comment winner, then comment goals in the comments down below. Other than that, like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Gotta do what I gotta do.